Hello everyone and welcome to one of the last episodes of Pokemon Fire Red, episode 48. In this episode, we're going to tackle the Elite Four rematch style. So we've done everything we can do in the game, including getting some just incredible legendary Pokemon. In this one, we're going to we're going to not use those legendary Pokemon because I don't use legendary Pokemon on my own team. Anyways, we are going to go through our team and I'll show you what I've done. So, Chu is now holding a magnet. You get magnets from the uh, magnetons that are in the uh, power plant. Although, it's like a, it's very rare that they're carrying them. I think I, I caught about seven and the last one that I caught finally had a magnet. That powers up electric type moves. Uh, definitely worth having on Chu. On Chu. And it knows the moves Brick Break, Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, and Thunder Wave. Nothing different. Nothing different whatsoever. Next, we're going to look at Poseidon, who knows the moves Ice Beam, Surf, Bite, and Waterfall. Uh, you could switch out Waterfall for something else if you so choose, but we're going to keep this because I think that's fine. Uh, and, of course, has Water Absorb as its ability, and it is holding a Mystic Water, which will power up Water-type moves. Uh, we will be shifting that item while we're fighting, so that's just worth mentioning. Bruce is holding a Lax Incense. A Lax Incense will lower the accuracy of your opponent, which is worth having. I also don't have any, uh, the Black Belt is an item that you can actually use Thief on from a trainer on Route 15 to receive, and that will power up Fight-type moves. I just didn't do that because I don't really think it's necessary. Uh, Bruce knows the moves Double Edge, Rock Smash, Brick Break, and Focus Punch. Not a very good move pool, but I think it'll do because we're really only going to be using him for, uh, for those moves anyways, and we can't give him Earthquake or anything like that, so it's not a big deal. Luna! Luna is Soft Boiled, Toxic, Psychic, and Thunder now. I added Thunder to her uh, because I think she's going to do really well with that. Her move, her stats, uh, and she is holding leftovers, just like she was earlier. And of course she's shiny, because why not? Uh, and next we are going to look at Topher. Topher is holding leftovers yet again. And it knows, uh, the moves Megahorn, Shadow Ball, Rock Slide, and Earthquake, just like it did before. I think that is the best type, type coverage. I was considering giving it, uh, Sludge Bomb, which is a wonderful move. Uh, but I don't really think we can capitalize on a Stab Poison type move in this game. And Bahamut, who knows Fly, Dragon Claw, Flamethrower, and Blast Burn. It also uh, is holding a Charcoal, which will power up uh, Fire-type attacks, which is very good. We will be also giving it a different item uh, as we go on. So, that is our team. Let's go ahead and face the first trainer uh, of the Elite Four, which is Lorelei. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at her team. Now, Lorelei fights in much the same way as she has in the past, except for now she has a Pokemon that is, well, a true electric counter. So you won't be able to sweep this team with a Chew like you might have been able to do before with any real electric type. Now, Dugong is still as weak as it has always been. Hit this thing with a fighting attack or a rock type attack and odds are it'll probably go down. Now, it does have two new moves, Double Team and Signal Beam. I'm not that worried about Double Team though because honestly, it's not going to be alive long enough to really hurt you with that Double Team. Uh, I'm not worried about Dugong. I think we'll be able to take it down, especially with our very own Bruce. Next, we are going to look at Jinx. Now, Jinx has replaced her moves and now has two stab-type attacks, Psychic and Ice Beam. If she is allowed to hit you, she will kill you. Though, that's amazing that she has these moves now. But, because of her incredibly low defense, I'm going to rely... I'm going to... I'm going to do it. I'm going to rely on Nidoking again to get that Mega Horn off on Jinx and take Jinx down. That's the hope. That's what I think is going to happen. Next, we're going to look at her Lapras. Lapras is now a pure offensive type Pokemon. It's got Psychic, Surf, Thunder, Ice Beam. So many type coverages. What a wonderful move pool. This thing will hurt. Luckily, Lapras' special attack isn't that bad. So, we might be able to do some considerable damage against it with maybe... My hope is Hitmonlee, even though it does have Psychic, which will shut Hitmonlee down. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do something. Next, we'll look at her brand new Pokemon, which is Piloswine. Piloswine is weak to fighting steel, fire, water, and grass. So our best bet here is to use Poseidon because nothing that Piloswine has is really going to hurt Poseidon that much. Earthquake, Blizzard, Double Edge, Rock Slide. I think we'll be okay here, especially since Piloswine only has that 60 space special defense. And her last Pokemon is Cloyster. This Cloyster now knows Rain Dance, Surf, Ice Beam, and Supersonic. 
if this thing gets Rain Dance off, all of the other Pokemon's water type attacks are going to do a lot more damage, and Thunder will have a 100% accuracy. Here's the thing, though. That could work really well for you and for me, since I gave Thunder to Clefable. In Rain, Thunder has a 100% chance, so you might be able to just sweep through her entire team. Again, Cloyster, Water Ice type is weak to Fighting, Rock, Grass, and Electric. Don't hit it with anything physical, and it will die. It will go down. Uh, any electric type attack will take this thing down. That's Lorelei. So her team is virtually the same as it always has been, so let's go ahead and take her on. No one can best me when it comes to ice type moves. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Are you ready? Let's go ahead, Lorelei. Lorelei rematch. Part two. I don't know. Anyways, we'll go ahead and battle her. She's going to start with her Dugong, just like I said she would. Level 64, so she has uh, improved her Pokemon quite considerably. Now, we are holding that Magnet, so my hope here is that this one Thunderbolt will be enough to eliminate this Dugong. Uh, I hope I'm right. If I'm right, that's great. If not, that's going to suck. It's going to use Double Team, which is actually fine for me. Uh, and then we'll use... Oh, she's going to use a full restore. That's actually fine. As long as we hit with this next attack, uh, she will go down to this next Thunderbolt. Is my hope anyway? Oh, okay, so we got the high end on that one. We're gonna use, oh, we missed! And it's gonna hit us with Surf, which is fine. Uh, it did a considerable amount of damage, but not enough to take us down. Now she's going to switch to Piloswine. Again, the best way that I can think of, of taking down this Piloswine is to switch to our very own Poseidon. Our dear, lovely, did I buy items? I recommend buying some restoring items. I don't remember if I did or not. So we're going to go ahead and use Surf on this Piloswine, and we will be able to take it out. And uh, my hope is one hit, because it doesn't have very good... Perfect. Wonderful. There is Lorelei's brand new Pokemon. Gone. Gone. Uh, she's going to use a Lapras. Of course, we're going to switch out. Uh, I'm actually curious about... Switching to Luna here, uh, the most the reason why I'm considering that is for Thunder. Thunder will do considerable damage, and I'm also hoping that we can get a Toxic off on this Pokemon. Uh, but it, I'm just going to go right for it's going to hit us with a Surf because it's faster than us. Makes sense. We should be able to take that no problem. And our Thunder did hit. I don't think this is going to be enough to kill Lapras. Uh, maybe if this was from Raichu, it would be able to kill Lapras. All right, so we brought it down to half. Uh, I'm actually okay with that. Leftovers is going to restore some. Now, I am considering using Thunder again. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Because if we hit, if we do hit, Lapras will go down. No full restore will come out. It's going to use Ice Beam. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Luna. That's what I'm talking about. We're already doing really well in this fight. We're doing really well against Lorelei. I don't want to jinx us, because I do think that some Pokemon are going to be a little bit harder than others. Alright, she's going to use Cloyster. Uh, I'm just going to switch out to Chew again. The only reason for that is because I know that Thunderbolt will hit, and I know Thunderbolt will kill Cloyster. Uh, I'd be very surprised if it doesn't, to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead, use Thunderbolt. That will take down this Cloyster. Absolutely no problemo. Uh, I'd be super surprised if it doesn't. Pretty sure it will. Okay, perfect. Great. I started to sweat my own words there for a second. So we took her down almost 3,000 experience, and Jinx is finally going to come out. And, of course, we will switch to Topher. My hope here is that Topher will be able to outspeed her Jinx, even though her Jinx is level 64? 66! Uh, which is a lot higher than I thought. All right. Oh, my God, we missed. This is not good. I can't believe we missed. I can't believe that happened last time. That happened last time we fought her, too, uh, is Megahorn. Now, Megahorn doesn't have the highest uh, accuracy. This is true. We're going to... Okay, finally, we got it. All right, so it doesn't matter. That Megahorn will absolutely demolish her. And down goes Jinx. One hit KO. Lorelei, the first of the Elite Four, for the final time, has been defeated. Guys, we're so close to the end of this game. Things shouldn't be this way. And we will get 6,600 Poké Dollars for winning. All right, you're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokémon League's power. And next in the room is, of course, going to be Bruno. So let's go ahead and take a look at his team. So Bruno's going to fight a little bit differently. His Onyxes have evolved, except not really, because if you remember, his Onyxes knew the ability Rockhead. This Steelix knows Sturdy. Now, luckily for us, the thing where Sturdy acts like a Focus Sash hasn't been introduced yet. That hasn't actually been introduced until Gen 5. So in this, uh, in this game, if you hit Steelix with, say, a Blast Burn, and it takes away all of his health, he will die even though he has 
sturdy and he's going from full hp to zero he'll still go down his th sturdy in gen 3 and 4 only applies to one hit ko moves like fissure and whatnot so don't worry about that anyways his onyx has evolved into a much more powerful pokemon this is steelix a steel ground type pokemon with the moves earthquake rock tomb iron tail and crunch now again that rock tomb is going to be a problem for something like a, fi a fire type but honestly with that special defense of 65 obviously do not touch this thing with a physical hit that special defense of 65 uh poseidon's going to do really well here uh charizard's gonna do really well here i wouldn't use anybody else but we'll do pretty well against this steelix i'm not really worried about it now hitmonlee here now knows mega kick foresight earthquake and rock slide which really sucks that rock slide is going to be a real problem for um our Bahamut. So we're probably not going to use Bahamut at all here. Now Hitmonlee is weak to flying and psychic, but it has a special defense of 110, so we want to hit this thing with a physical hit. Honestly, that physical of 53 will be able to destroy it no problem. I'm not that worried about it. I'm pretty sure a Nidoking, even Nidoking hitting this thing with an earthquake will take it out. Same for Hitmonchan, actually. Hitmonchan again has a 110 special defense, but only a 79 physical defense. Now he does have some different moves. He has Rock Slide, Counter, Mac Punch, and Sky Uppercut. Pretty sure he has the only new move there is Rock Slide, which is much better than Rock Tomb. Although, it won't lower your speed, so that's good to know. And his second Steelix knows the move Dragon Breath. So it knows Dragon Breath, Iron Tail, Crunch, and Earthquake. Still has Sturdy. Again, though, I'm not worried about it. I do believe, I do believe that our Poseidon's going to be able to deal with these Steelixes no problemo. And finally, Bruno's final Pokemon, Machamp. Machamp is a pure fighting type, as I've said before. It knows Brick Break, Cross Chop. Earthquake and Rock Slide, so they don't screw around anymore, man. And with that 130 base attack, that's going to hurt. Now, it doesn't really matter what you hit it with, if you hit it with Psychic or Flying. I personally am going to be trying to use Clefable here to use Psychic to be able to take out this Machamp because I do believe that uh, Clefable might be our best bets in surviving against this Pokemon, although maybe not against that Cross Chop. I'm undecided. It's going to be a tough fight. It's definitely going to be a tough fight against Bruno. All right, let's take on Bruno of the Elite Four. Now, worth mentioning is I actually switched uh, Bahamut's item, hold item again, uh, and this time I gave him Sharp Beak. Sharp Beak will actually increase flying type moves, which is wonderful. Uh, you get that from cap capturing uh, Wild Skarmory back in C Vault uh, Canyon. C Vault Canyon. If you don't uh, have access to it, there are other ways to get it that I'm not entirely sure of off the top of my head right now. Uh, we are going to start our battle against this level 65 Steelix with our very own level 65 Vaporeon. My hope here is that this water will be able to take him out in one shot. Uh, I'd be... Okay, great. So now we know that we can destroy both of his Steelixes, we hope anyways, with our, our Poseidon. Now, he's going to switch out to Hitmonlee. We are, of course, going to switch to Bahamut. Now that we are holding that wonderful, wonderful item that will raise the attack power of Fly, or Flying-type moves, we should be able to easily one-shot this Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, and maybe even get close to one-shotting his Machamp, although that might not be possible. If it's not possible, we will go ahead and switch to our uh, Clefable, who should be able to, should be able, I say, take it out with Psychic. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, Hitmonchan, we're going to go ahead and use Fly. This should. I would be so surprised if it doesn't take it out. Uh, he's going to try to use Rock Slide, unfortunately for him. We're up in the air, dude. Ain't no rocks touching us there, and that should... Yes! And it was a crit. I actually don't think that that crit was necessary. Uh, but that's wonderful that that crit did land. All right, so next is going to be a Machamp. All right, so we're going to stay in yet again, and we're going to hope that we can survive... Uh, long enough to at least use two flies if we have to. Odds are this is going to bring it down into red, and then he's going to use a full restore. Uh, let's see. 68 Machamp versus a level 65 Charizard. So he is going to use Rock Slide against us. This is probably going to one-shot Bahamut. Uh, definitely. Definitely one-shotting Bahamut. Uh, and now he's probably going to restore as well on this turn. But we are going to be a little cheeky here, and we're going to send out Luna, even though we know Luna is uh, weak to fighting-type attacks. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. That's okay. That cross-drop might kill Luna anyways, uh, even though we have so much health. Okay, it did. 
So I accidentally used Thunder there instead of Psychic, uh, which which is obviously not what you want to do. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I think I'm in the habit of Psychic being there. So we're going to go ahead and use Earthquake here. Uh, this should be able to take out Machamp, no problem. And down goes Machamp, even though he is so bulky. Uh, that's okay. We lost two Pokemon there due to me not playing well. Uh, again, he's going to now send out his final Pokemon, which is a Steelix. We'll go ahead and use our very own, our very beautiful Poseidon, who's going to be able to one-shot it. I'd be maybe level 66. Yeah, we should, we should, this Surf will be able to kill this Steelix. So his Steelixes don't really matter. Uh, as long as you have something that will hurt it. Uh, fire, I know Charizard's Flamethrower, if it's holding the charcoal, will also do considerable damage against this Pokemon. So, down goes uh, Bruno. So, we have now taken down two members of the Elite Four. We're going to go ahead and face Agatha as well. So, let me just make sure that my Pokemon are healed. You know what? Let's continue on. And while we're taking a look at her team, I'm going to heal my Pokemon. All right, so now we're going to look at Agatha. Agatha is going to keep her Gengars, which is awesome. So this Gengar is, knows now Confuse Ray, Shadow Punch, Hypnosis, and Psychic. That Shadow Punch is going to hurt. That Psychic is going to hurt. Uh, although I'm not entirely worried about it, to be honest. I do think that this Gengar is going to be pretty easy to take down with something like, hey, Clefable. Uh, using Clefable to use Psychic against this Gengar will sincerely hurt it. Same for Arbok. Arbok now has a different move pool though it knows double team sludge bomb which is going to hurt giga drain and earthquake so this thing is going to be able to do some damage but again i do believe that we will be able to capitalize on either that low defense or that low special defense uh either by using uh clefable at first to use psychic and then if she gets knocked out we'll switch to nidoking king and use earthquake either way we'll be fine and then we are led to crobat crobat is one of her new her evolution i guess of golbat it knows Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball, Air Cutter, and Sludge Bomb. This thing's super fast, incredibly fast. It might beat you, it might not. Uh, Poseidon's a good bet here. Using Poseidon to use Ice Beam is going to hurt it. Chew is good. Literally, we everything we have counters this Pokemon. I'm not worried about it. It has the same defense as a base 80, super easy. And for her brand new Pokemon, Mistrevious. It knows Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Attract. It is a male Mistrevious, though. Uh, so don't use any female Pokemon against this one, and you will negate Attract entirely. Now, of course, it does know the ability Levitate, so ground-type attacks will not hurt it. It is only weak to Ghost and Dark, but hey, lucky for us... Uh, we can use Nidoking, who is going to be super weak to that Psychic, but I do believe that Nidoking will be able to stand up and use Shadow Ball against this Mistrevious, which will just annihilate it in one hit. I'm pretty certain about that. And finally, Agatha's final Pokemon, Gengar Part 2. This Pokemon knows Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt, and Psychic. This is a force to be reckoned with, and it's at an incredibly high level. Uh, I believe level 70 is what this one is at. It is weak to Ghost, Psychic, and Dark, just like before. That physical defense means that we want to capitalize on maybe a Shadow Ball, even though I don't know if that's the best bet, considering that the Psychic is there. But again, interestingly enough, Nidoking kind of uh, is immune to Thunderbolt, resists Sludge Bomb, it takes normal damage from Shadow Ball. We might be able to do some serious damage. It's gonna be it's gonna be a close one though. It's gonna be a close one. Alright, let's tackle Agatha. Ag Agatha. I'm Agatha of the Elite Four. You're the child that Oak's so taken with. So she literally doesn't change any of their dialogue, which is which is really unfortunate. I kinda wish they would change, because they obviously know us. They've already, obviously already battled us. So we'll go ahead and tackle Agatha with her incredibly high-level Gengars. Alright, so she is going to send out her first Gengar, which is the weaker of the two. Level 66, we're going to send out our very own Luna, and we are going to use Psychic. I almost just used Thunder again. Luckily, Hypnosis missed, which is great. I don't think that the Psychic is going to be able to one-shot this Gengar. If we were a little bit better with Special Attack, it might have, but that's okay. It's going to use Hypnosis again, and is that is going to get off, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use our Poke Flute that is in our key items that we got so, so long ago uh, to be able to wake up our Clefable. Now, this Gengar doesn't have Dream Eater or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter that it's asleep. It's kind of weird that it still focuses on trying to put you to sleep. Uh, but we will do that, and then we will wake up, which is perfect. It's going to hit us with a, with a Psychic that's not Stab, by the way. It just has an incredibly high special attack. That did absolutely nothing. That did nothing to Clefable. Clefable is going to be our bread and butter. Oh, my God. Okay, finally. 
It's Hypnosis Miss. We were able to hit it again with Psychic. That is so annoying. That's so annoying. Uh, so Crobat's gonna come out. We are actually gonna stay in, surprisingly. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if we can get... It's probably going to try to use a Confuse Ray right off the bat, and it's going to be faster than us no matter what. Uh, so I am going to use Thunder here, uh, just to see if we can get this off in one hit. If we can't, I'm just going to switch out to Chu, who's going to be able to Thunderbolt this thing to death. So we became confused. We are confused, and... Ah, we hurt ourselves. Okay, so we're gonna do a considerable amount of damage to ourselves. This Crobat, though, isn't really gonna be able to do much. You know what? Maybe we'll stay in. We'll stay in. It's going to hit us with a Sludge Bomb. That is a very powerful attack, although I'm pretty sure... Uh, okay, we were able to withstand it. As long as we don't hit ourselves here, we'll be okay. And we got it with Thunder. So my hope here is that this will kill uh, Crobat because it is so frail. Uh, its stats aren't very... Oh my god, not even close. Not even close. Okay. So now we have to switch to Chu. That's something that we absolutely have to do. I'm just hoping that Chu's going to be able to survive um, a Sludge Bomb. Actually, it probably would have been a better idea to switch to Topher in this case. It's going to hit us with Air Cutter, which is fine. Uh, and it was a critical hit, but it's not very effective. So we'll be able to uh, use Thunderbolt, and we can outspeed this Crobat, which is perfect, even though it's a level higher than us and has an incredible speed stat. Uh, that's what happens when you use Carbos, uh, the vitamins there. So we will take down that Crobat, and Chu should get a level here. Level 66, baby boo. Awesome. Chu, you're rocking it. You're rocking and you're rolling. Next is going to be Arbok. We are going to switch out to, um... <sighs> I don't even know what to do here. You know what? Let's switch to Bahamut. The only reason I'm switching to Bahamut here is because it does have Earthquake, which we'll be able to resist, and also has Giga Drain, which won't hurt us at all. Um, so I'm thinking here that Flamethrower, now that we're holding the Charcoal again, will do a considerable amount of damage against Arbok. At least enough to kill it in two shots. Perfect, and we got a burn. We're gonna take no damage from this Pokemon at all. It's gonna try to use Double Team to take us down, or to uh, not be taken down, but Here's my, all right, so full restore is going to come out. Uh, we probably could have switched to Blast Burn right now and taken out this Arbok in one hit, which wouldn't have been a terrible idea, uh, but it doesn't matter. Either way, we win this fight. We win against this Arbok because obviously it can't use a move right now and we're faster than it. So we definitely won against Arbok. Nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I believe, if I'm not entirely mistaken, we only have two Pokemon left. Only two Pokemon left. So, Mistrevious is going to come out. We are indeed going to switch to Topher uh, because, again, Mistrevious is a pure ghost type. So, our uh, Shadow Ball is going to really hurt this thing. And it has a very low uh, physical defense. So, we'll go ahead, use that Shadow Ball, and this will wipe Mistrevious off the face of the earth if I'm not totally mistaken. Whoa! No! That special attack, though, is very low. So, it shouldn't. Okay, awesome awesome to the max so we will be able to kill uh it did get that special defense lower but that's okay um if it's able to hit us it will kill us uh but we'll be able to use shadow ball it's going to use the full restore or agatha is going to use the full restore on her mischievous which is fine uh we are a male pokemon so it can't use attract against us the only thing it can use for the most part is psychic and uh, obviously we'll be able to take it out before it can hit us with another psychic attack and we got the special defense spell even though it doesn't matter because we're using Shadow Ball. Whatever. Uh, that Leftovers will heal us enough to not, still not survive um, uh, another another Psychic. But there goes Mistrevious down. We only have one Pokemon left. And that, of course, is going to be Gengar. So we are going to stay in. I don't want to, I don't want to change Pokemon here. I want to stay in against this Gengar. Um... Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Level 70, which is pretty huge. If this thing hits us with Psychic, which I'm pretty sure it will try to do right off the bat, it will kill us. But I'm gonna try to use Shadow Ball and see how much damage we can do with that. Another Shadow Ball and this thing will kill us. It's going to use Psychic. This will absolutely destroy Topher. Topher's dead. Uh, that's unfortunate. We knew it was gonna happen, um, but that's okay. That's okay because now we can switch to Luna. Luna's not gonna be, oh, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. I just killed Luna. I just killed Luna. That's That was stupid of me. That was really, really stupid. Okay, so we want to use Psychic. Uh, it's going to use Sludge Bomb. It's going to kill us. That's too bad. Maybe if I didn't do that, um, I can't believe I did that. I knew Luna was that low in health, and I was like, oh, maybe we'll outspeed. It's not going to outspeed. We'll go ahead and switch to Poseidon. 
just because we know Poseidon can withstand anything that it does hit us with. Uh, I forgot that it has Thunderbolt, but that's fine. Poseidon's still a monster, and we'll be able to tink that pretty well. Um, oh, absolutely well. Absolutely. And a Surf, and that will be the end of Gengar. So we just defeated three members of the Elite Four, and I'm thinking that this is going to be a long episode, and we are just going to go ahead and tackle the very last... The very last, uh, tr you win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. All right, let's continue on. And we're going to fight the fourth and final Elite Four member. It's Lance. You all remember Lance in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender.